We're in a time when we are having to change the way that we deliver an education to our pupils. However, it's a period of change that also brings a period of opportunity. I've been really impressed over the course of the last three or four days to see what has been achieved in some of those lessons. I've seen some wonderful work. I've seen some incredibly creative and innovative approaches. Our teachers have proved over the last two weeks that the technology that's at their disposal can be used in a really productive manner. We've reacted quite quickly over the course of a 10 day period. That's involved an incredible amount of hard work from the teachers to adapt lesson plans, to reconsider what they're going to be able to use to get across messages. I've looked at some of the lessons that have been going on online. I've seen everything from some fairly traditional lessons to some really creative lessons, uh, including practicals being demonstrated within labs. I've seen clips, I've seen PowerPoints, I've seen interaction uh, through uh, assessment for learning, things like Quizlet. And uh, I've also uh, seen some great work coming back from pupils that's been marked remotely. RHS has been able to deliver a full curriculum, lesson by lesson, by teachers across the globe. That's over 1,500 lessons to 750 pupils, over 28 subjects, by 108 staff to pupils in over 38 countries. I think that's testament uh, to both the technology, but also to the pupils' uh, willingness to take on board uh, the new approach. Over the course of the last 10 years, RHS has invested quite significantly in its technological infrastructure, underpinned uh, by the all important training of our staff. So it is a period of opportunity. It's a change forced upon us, but it's not a change that won't come without advantages as well. And at RHS, with the technological framework, with the innovative and creative staff that we have, I'm sure that over the course of the next 10 weeks, we'll learn a great deal from this new approach.